Open your web browser and put in https colon double forward slash etraveled.gov.ph. If you already have an account, enter your email address and password here and click login. If you don't, click create an account then enter your email address. Once you've entered your email address, please check your inbox for an email from eTravel. It will contain a one-time password, OTP, consisting of six digits, similar to the example shown on the screen. Enter these numbers in the designated field to proceed. Now, you'll need to create a new password. Make sure it's at least eight characters long and includes both an uppercase and a lowercase letter. In this section, we're completing your personal information. Start by selecting your passport type if you have a Philippine passport, tick the option Philippine passport holder. Now, enter your first name and last name in the appropriate boxes. If you have a middle name or suffix, add those in the corresponding fields if you wish, they're not mandatory. Next, enter your sex then date of birth using the format month, day, then year. Be sure to double check this information for accuracy. Make sure your contact details are correct. Check your mobile number to ensure it's accurate and includes the country code. For citizenship, select Filipino or the relevant option from the drop-down menu. Lastly, indicate your country of birth by choosing the correct option from the drop-down list and type in your passport number meticulously. Once you've confirmed that all the details are filled in correctly, you can click next to proceed. Select your country from the drop-down for your permanent residence. Then, enter your full address, house number, street, city, and province. If needed, add extra address details in the second line. Review your details and click next to proceed or previous to edit the previous section. Review your personal and residence details on this summary page. Make sure every piece of information is accurate. If all is good, hit submit to finalize your application. If you spot an error, use the previous button to go back and correct it. Before proceeding, please note the announcement at the top. Registration must be completed within 72 hours prior to your arrival or departure from the Philippines. Ensure you have your e-travel QR code ready for flight boarding. Now, for travel registration, if you're booking for yourself, click 4ME. If it's for a family member, select 4 other. Then, choose air if you're traveling by plane or sea if by sea. Specify if you are arrival for entering or departure for leaving the Philippines. By clicking continue, you agree to the data privacy and affidavit of undertaking. Fill in your travel details for your arrival in the Philippines. Select your occupation, state if you're an overseas Filipino worker, and indicate your purpose of travel and traveler type. Choose your country of origin. Then, for your destination in the Philippines, select whether you're heading to a residence, hotel resort, or in transit. Under flight information, enter your date of arrival, select the airline you're flying with, and input your flight number. Double check that the flight number matches your booking confirmation. Finally, if you know your seat or bed number, you can add it, though it's optional. Verify your details and press next to continue or cancel to stop. On the health declaration page, first, take note of the current COVID-19 travel requirements. If applicable, list any countries you've worked in, visited, or transited through in the last 30 days by clicking add. Answer whether you've had exposure to anyone with a communicable disease, and if you've been sick in the past 30 days. Once you've responded, click next to proceed or previous to go back. This is your summary page. Please review all your personal and travel details carefully to ensure accuracy. If you find any errors, click previous to go back and correct them. Once everything is confirmed to be correct, click submit to complete the process. Congratulations! You have successfully submitted your details to eTravel. Check your email soon for a confirmation message, which will include the QR code necessary for your travels. Ensure you print this out or have it ready to display on your phone for boarding. Thanks for watching. If this guide helped you, give it a like and pass it on. Till next time.